Most of you recognize us as your deacon board. We stress the words, your deacons, because we're here to help you. The deacons have pledged to assist the church staff in meeting your spiritual and physical needs. Please contact the church office at 542-5344 if we can be of assistance. There are many unknowns about the coronavirus. Misinformation abounds, fear, anxiety, and uncertainty have overtaken many. But make no mistake, the threat is real, and we should use common sense and follow the CDC guidelines. But we have at our immediate disposal, day or night, something better than any injection, more powerful than any government, and safer than any law. It has closed the mouth of lions. It's calmed the stormy seas. It's given victory in war. It's healed broken hearts and softened the heart of kings. As a Christian, we have a power of prayer, a direct line to the creator of the universe. With prayer, we never get a busy signal or have to leave a message. Listen carefully to Isaiah 41, 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Let us encourage you to join us in prayer for our nation, for our church, and for the needs of others. May God strengthen, encourage, and calm you as we join together to show a world in turmoil the peace that only God can give. We look forward to the opportunity to show you how we love our church is more than a catchy phrase or a motto. It's the way we treat each other. Valley Forge Church family, as one of the leaders in the church, I recognize that we're facing some difficult and trying times. I also recognize that we serve a great God and Heavenly Father, one who has never and will never forsake us. So during these times, we as leaders here at Valley Forge want to assure our church family that we will continue to support and take care of the needs that will arise during this time. Let's pray and continue to trust in the Lord. Hello, church family. I just wanted to read a few verses to increase our hope and increase our faith in the Lord here. Uh, it comes from 2 Kings 6, 15 through 17. It said, And when the servant of the Lord of, of the man of God was risen up early and gone forth, behold, a host comes to the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant, also, servant said to him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire around about Elisha. As we think about these verses here, we see, you know, there's sort of a tough time we're going through now, and we don't know, you know, exactly what the future holds. And you see things here and you see things there. But we do know, you know, even though it may seem overwhelming at times, the Lord is with us, and he is surrounding us, and he is there for us. Sometimes we may not see it but i pray the lord will open everybody's eyes and see that he is with us and he will help us through this just like he helped elisha and his servant there go through the things they were facing we just got to focus on him and trust that he is with us for we know he is with us and uh hopefully that helps you you know meditate on that think of you know what god can do with us through here even though we may you know face these in certain times financially uh you know just things going on you know can't go to church things happening that we can't control that we haven't really faced before but just uh you know read the rest of this chapter if you like and it, it will encourage you and we just got to think you know even though we may feel surrounded by things and we're out of control that we can't control uh just folks the lord is there and he is surrounding us if we just look to see it we, we love, love our, our church, church.